Hi, this is Suzanne. Uh, another quick uh, project share. Um, I said in another video, I'm working real hard to finish up UFOs, unfinished projects, in case you don't know that term. But I've been wanting to make some of these uh, fabric textile moths for a really long time. I'm a big fan of Mr. Finch's work, the UK um, textile artist. Look him up on Pinterest if you've never seen any of his work. And I had these um, old doilies laying around, dresser scarves, with this embroidery on it. And I can't bear to throw even just that much away. So I decided to make these moths uh, using as much textile that I have that was already kind of cut up. And I don't cut it up if it's wonderful, brand new, nice, could be used. But if it's uh, rotten or the edge is missing or has holes in it, sometimes I make things out of them. So this little moth is, uh, you can see, I found the, uh, some almost matching embroidery by cutting different places on the scarf. And the only thing I added here was these circles, the so-called fake eye spots. I just kind of made up my pattern as I went because I don't know how they're supposed to be made, but I just made it up and um, I thought the legs were extremely labor intensive, but I found this yarn that had little sticky outies all over it. And since some moth legs are very feathery, I decided to use that and that worked out fine. And then I put some feathers on the ends of the antennae here. And whether I would do that again or not, I don't know. But there's one of them. And then here's another one. This is probably the more elaborate one. Let me see if I can. OK, I might as well show you the underneath. Um, I use different legs for different ones, trying to come up with the perfect idea. I used some really heavy wire, and I covered it. I used pipe cleaners. I used, um, what else did I use? I guess that was it. Some are covered with yarn, and some are not. Anyways, um, this dresser scarf already had kind of a scalloped edge, and it had this beautiful tatting edge on it. And some of the little tatting loops are even falling off. So I kind of stabilized them a little bit, but I wanted to leave it as much uh, original as I possibly could. I sewed a line of glass beads here, although I don't know if I would do that again. They're kind of ineffectual. But it shows off the embroidery. And then I did add the blue uh, curly loopy things on this one. And I don't know if I would do that again or not. But it's real pretty and just a matching fabric for underneath. And this was heavy wire and I covered it with different kind of yarns. So, and that can sit right on your dresser. You can hang it on a wall. You can lay it on a pillow on a bed or whatever you'd want to do. You might say, well, what are you going to do with them? Well, I don't know. Um, I'm going to give them to my sister, I know, I and she has a beautiful bedroom. I hope she can just hang them on the wall and enjoy them till she gets tired of them, and then we'll figure out. Now, this one has pipe cleaner legs, and it's kind of, you can, it's sturdy enough, but you can move them if you want them to be in a more upright position, or if you want them flatter to the surface, you can do that too. On this one, I used... Um, some tapestry that I had. I just love that little piece of tapestry. And then the body and the gold on the wings is some of my hand dyed lace. So that's what he looks like. And you might say, what for? Well, just to say I used up um, and finished a project. So there you have it, three moths in Mr. Finch style. So maybe it's just a little jump off point for you if you ha have a liking for, oh, you know, textiles and things like that. So 
um, Mr. Finch, thank you very much. And uh, you guys come back again soon. I have more unfinished objects that I'm trying to finish up, and I'll be making videos over the next few days. Thanks for watching.